So I've shown you how to fill the fish and I'm pretty sure that you guys now can do it by yourself. So let's take a look on the ingredient use for this beautiful recipe fish sour fish. The first you need is a fillet fish, some fresh chilies that have been uh, grind, tomato sauce, chili sauce, garlic, some shallots, vinegar. So I already told you about the recipe used uh, for this uh, recipe with our fish. So I'm going to cook it, but before that, I need to cut it into small pieces so it can be enjoyed easily with one bite. So in Chinese cuisine, uh, usually they will use corn flour uh, to uh, to use as a as a fritter, yeah, uh, because corn flour will give the crispiness to the uh, to the protein that they're going to use. So this is the most uh, usable uh, in Chinese cuisine, which is corn flour. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to uh, season the fillet fish. Right. You need to season it with salt because the salt will enhance the natural taste of the food itself. Alright, beautiful. So what I'm going to do is actually dip it inside the corn flour. Alright. So it's nicely coated. Some people will dip it with eggs first and then dip it with a flour, but it's optional. For me, dip, uh, dip it with comfort itself uh, more than enough. It will still give that crispiness and it's just nice when you bite it. Okay, now it's ready to be fried. Okay, once you have this beautiful coated fish, uh, as I show you now, you just have to heat up the, the, the oil and fry it until it becomes crispy. And remember that fish is can can be easily get overcooked, so you have to really make sure that you uh, control the heat. All right. But at first, when you are dealing with coated fillet fish, you need to to make sure that you put the maximum. Uh, it as you can to let the oil really uh, really hot so it will make it uh, nicely put, uh, nicely brown uh, with your uh, product all right and you put it inside. once you dip, put in the oil you need to make sure your heat to be a little bit down Take it over. Right. Until it becomes crispy brown. Eh? Once it started to brown, this is the indication that you need to take it out. Right, you can see it's nicely the crispy, and then you can take it out from the wok and put it aside for a while. Prepare the sauce. All right. The first thing. We some people, uh, this is optional, you can use, you can blend it or you can just slice it. But for me, I, I prefer to slice it because I love the texture. So I'm going to put garlic in, the shallot, and you fry it until it becomes caramelized. Alright? Smells good here. Alright? Okay, 
once it started to brown, caramelize, you can put some chilies inside, blended chilies. Okay. It depends to your preference. You can put more if you want to be spicy. Okay, and then you put the tomato sauce and the chili sauce. Alright, nice. Add some, some vinegar to add its sweet sourness because in Chinese cuisine, for sweet sour, it needs to be uh, a little bit acidic than the mellow cuisine for, for the recipe. Okay, and then put some salt to okay. taste. and some sugar because it is sweet and sour so it will be sweet and sour at the same time alright so it smells so good right now all you have to do is just take the your fried chili fish and then throw inside and stir it